With AMD now including iGPUs on their CPUs moving forward with AM5, how do you think this could affect Premiere specifically? Intel have QuickSync, which helps out quite a lot for Premiere users. So will AMD benefit from the same advantage now? So a bit of an interesting question. It really depends on sort of your setup for these sort of things because Premiere, you know, if you have a discrete GPU, it'll prioritize using the discrete GPU's encoding capabilities. So if you've mm -hmm. got an NVIDIA GPU, most likely it will be doing its encoding, not using QuickSync, but using NVENC instead mm -hmm. because the GPU is much more powerful. But there are some circumstances where it can use both at the same time, depending on Premiere, you know, is not, maybe not great for this. I know DaVinci Resolve will use them mm -hmm. more significantly and will use them both simultaneously. So that's kind of where you get the sort of minor uplift from using QuickSync, maybe use QuickSync for decoding while the GPU is being used for encoding. It just depends. I think this will have more of an impact for people that are just using the integrated graphics mm -hmm. or maybe had an AMD CPU but a very low-end GPU that's perhaps not particularly powerful. Having that benefit for all AMD CPUs, having some sort of encoding capability is going to be beneficial in some circumstances. But... Yep. Again, most modern platforms have some form of encoder available, even laptops. Mm -hmm. you know, most of the time, there's going to be something there to be used. So I think this is more going to come down to how Adobe optimizes their software because I think the adva they've, it's much more optimized for QuickSync and NVENC than it is for AMD's encoder mm -hmm. and works a lot better on those platforms. So it's probably more of an Adobe issue than an AMD issue. Yeah, and look, the integrated graphics is primarily to make it useful for business type stuff like yep. that's where intel stuff's really appealing because you don't need a discrete gpu amd struggled to break into those markets because they don't have you know. yeah and you know it's going to support av1 decoding so that's going to help for things like youtube watching youtube videos on mm -hmm. basically every platform doesn't matter what gpu you have that something that will be supported but again lots of gpus these days have these features as well so yeah yeah it just makes it a more flexible product. You could, yeah, that's you know, right. For business users, home theater PCs, uh, you don't have to seek out an APU, for example. 